interest and abuse as well. And of course, as anyone knows, you, you cannot manage a problem or a situation unless you can measure it. And this new law will allow the monitoring of the prescriptions of controlled substances by the whole range of practitioners will provide for the privacy uh, concerns and also provide for penalties for violation of those concerns. It's a great step forward. It was a result of a lot of work by a lot of people and a lot of pain out there among our citizens. Uh, a number of people participated greatly. They represented Bedingfield, Representative Fry, Representative Huggins, Senator Campbell, Senator Cromer, Senator Alexander, and two are, are here to speak today, and that's Representative Phyllis Henderson and Representative Eric Bedingfield. And Ms. Thank Henderson. You. Thank you, Mr. Governor. Well, first of all, I want to thank all my colleagues and a lot of the other groups that participated in this process with us. This has been over a year long in the making of working on this bill, working out the issues. We're now going to join 26 other states in requiring physicians and others who prescribe controlled substances, um, requiring them to check the state's prescription drug monitoring database to check a patient's prescription history before they prescribe prescription drugs. It's going to give them the opportunity to not only check the history, it's also going to give the state and law enforcement the opportunity to look at prescribing patterns um, by physicians and um, begin to root out some of the problems and help us get one step clo closer in fighting the problems that we have with prescription drug abuse in South Carolina. Got a great group of um, my colleagues back here that have been forming the team of the, this package of 16 bills that we started with, have now, um, with, with some of the things that we've done with some amendments on other bills, have gotten uh, four or five of them out this year and uh, more to come. And um, Representative Bedingfield, who's actually chairing the prescription, the, the speaker's prescription task force, is going to um, say a few things too. Thank you. Yes, sir. Well, thank you, Representative Henderson. Um, thank you, Governor, for the opportunity to be here. And I want to thank Representative Fry and Representative Huggins for uh, their partnership. Um, this year, we, we introduced a package. Y'all remember our press conference towards the uh, beginning of the session where we introduced about a dozen bills. And this is a major piece of that, that particular project. And hopefully, we'll have a lot more to bring to bear as the Opioid Study Committee uh, continues its work. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be a part of the project. It affects many, many families in our state. Um, uh, as you well know, mine personally was affected by um, addiction, and uh, our goal here is to save lives um, and protect people. So we appreciate you being here with us. Thank you, Thank Governor. You. Appreciate you. Gentlemen, anything further? I think that says it all. Okay. Thank you. Let's sign.